So you're really gonna just gonna fall asleep in these marshes? No, as in like get home so we can get to oh, sleep. get home oh, first. Okay. All right. So, but we're not gonna get to that yet. We're gonna get to Sainz's part, which is let me check. My rolls are being incompetent. I'm not quite sure why it does that. I think it's just roll twenty. Yeah, probably. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Are your rolls also lagging out, or is it just me? Um, I've seen zeros roll lag, like, rolls lag out too. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, that sucks. Um. Okay, so finally, after waiting in there for a long ass time, have you guys <laughs> slept at all? I mean, like all of you guys are pretty much running on no energy. <laughs> I, I probably fell asleep at the table. Yeah, so... And also, it's like, um... Pretty much rubbing up against you just because, you know, you haven't spent a lot of time together alone in a room for a long time. Just because you haven't really been in a... Like, you've always... You've been almost constantly going out in the field and doing other things. So this is one of the few times you actually... The two of you are together in a room alone. But it doesn't last. I mean, like, it's only maybe a couple, like, an hour or so, and then next thing you know, Mercer jumps in. Because he says, you know, it's time to get up. You you know, the, the council wants you to come in. Do I wake up from that? 100. Alright, I wake yeah, up. So you wake up. And it's one of those, it's like, just you can't really say no to them because it's under their tolerance that you're even here to begin with. And to disobey them may have dire consequences, at least for in your opinion. So are you gonna move, or...? No, yeah, so definitely. Okay, so you only <laughs> slept like an hour, so they're gonna call you into the audience room, and lo and behold, you see the person you were looking for, which is Pei, and she's with them. I just have to find her in the... There we go. So... And she is, like, she's got folded arms, and she's kind of, she looks a little upset. When she sees you. Why is her name tag not on? I don't know why her name tag her was name. disabled. Al Al <laughs> Something's wrong with the formatting. Okay, there we go. So yeah, I just Sorry. saw the I saw the dynamic lighting thing. I'm not even gonna try to do that because it's <laughs> gonna take forever to do, and it's not even a permanent thing. So I don't want to put no, all that want. effort into it just for it to be used for a little bit and then it's gonna be gone in a little while. Like after June, after I think a couple a month after this month, it'll be gone. And so it's that's just more work for me. That's gonna be. It's going to be temporary, it's not going to be permanent. Okay, so. The audience room. Audience You're room. there, Oso's there, Pay is there, all the, the guards are there. Okay, could you realign everyone? Oh, sorry. So we're all there, and then Immerse um, is, uh... Even Amusra's there, but he doesn't know why he's there. Like, he's <laughs> got a look of bewilderment, it's like, why am I here? This is a meeting of the council. You know, he's just an apprentice. Why is he here? So, so Shun just gets right to the point. It's like, uh, you know, she tried to run. Pei tried to run, but she didn't get far. Uh, your friend tried to help her escape, but apparently, she, and she did get away. It's like, uh, but we're not going to really care about that, I mean. So, is he going to be honest with you? It's like, you know, I'm going to be honest. It's we kind of used your prey. You know, we knew you had a connection to her pay in some way. So we kind of used you to find her. Hmm. Well. So. That's, um. And really the one you should, uh, it's, uh. The one who really was concerned with her is the Great Black Drake. It wasn't so much the rest of us. You know, Captain Shun didn't care. His court mage didn't care. The one who really did care was the dra the Elder Dragon. So, and like, 
So when Captain Shun and the the court mage, they look back and then they just scoot out of the way and the big dragon is just coming right towards you. And then it just puts its face, it did the same thing like last time, it kind of just puts <laughs> its, its chin down in front of you and just looks at you, all three of you. Are you daunted in any way? Because this thing is massive. I mean, this thing is much larger than you, and that's just its head. Nah. So you're not I'm daunted not. by it in any sort of way, shape, or form. I have great respect for it. Okay. Daunted. Why do you have great respect for him? Because he's... For one, he's freaking old and he's freaking huge. Yeah. Well, besides <laughs> that, I mean, that's... <laughs> So you you just respect that he's big and strong and that he's uh, an elder dragon and he's not trying to kill you? <laughs> I guess, okay, so... And he can smell that. Like, he can smell that, you know. You're you're kind of a... Do you admire him or do you just respect him? I wouldn't say admire. Okay, so... Just yet. So, yeah, he goes with the respect part. You know, you have you, you have reasonable amounts of respect for him. So, and that's why he's allowed you to stay here as long as you have. At least that's what you're getting f from that. So, it's really not his head that's moving, it's his eyes that are moving. You know, even though that's the hard part, it's... His eyes are completely white, but it look Like, you can get the feeling when they're focusing on a certain thing. So, they're looking at Pei, and Pei is like... Pei doesn't look like she wants to be here. I mean, everything about this just doesn't seem right. So, Pei's just like, she, she, it's like she takes an involuntary step back, almost. So what about you? I mean, are you guys distracted by this, or is it, are you questioning any of this, or? Apparently I am. <laughs> So not <laughs> or not. So well, nah. you get the feeling that this is not your concern. This is so uh, something to do with pay and the great black dragon. So and like he he kind of gives like he tilts his head slightly. Like his head kind of flops to the left, just trying to. It's kind of that curious look. So and and Captain Shun is like although you like you you guys were so enraptured by that that you didn't notice Captain Shun was behind you. And then he just comes out and says that it's like, uh, I think the Great Black Drake may have found someone to pass on his genetics. So what do you what is your opinion of that? <laughs> it's like he just straight up says it and he's like casual. Do I know what he means? Do you know what it means? <laughs> Good question. Apparently I do. Yeah, I think you got the innuendo in there. And so, um... It's like, and this could be a bad thing. Because that usually, if it comes from a great dragon, that usually means the great dragon does not survive the procedure. So, and Pei is just incredulous, like, she takes another step back, like, from everyone, it's like, and she doesn't, she doesn't, like, get what she's hearing. Like, or she doesn't want to believe what she's hearing. And so... Okay, this is gonna get weird for a lot of reasons, and you're about to find out why. So, Saiyans, how, how aware of you are you at the moment? Apparently I'm aware. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty aware, so you're like, you're, you're, in case something bad is about to happen, you're, you're fully aware of everything. So you see that, like, the big black dragon, he starts to back up a little bit, and he just lies on the ground, and you see that he's starting to shrink. Which you thought was impossible. I mean, this is this thing is of massive size. <laughs> Why is it getting smaller? So, like, its eyes are not glowing white anymore. You see that it's starting, like, the body is starting to decay. 
And the, two, the other two dragons aren't shocked. They don't know what's going on. I mean, like, even they didn't know what, what was going to happen. Then you see that his, um, he's pretty much decaying away. I mean, just, uh, his wings are falling off, his body's starting to rot. And he dies, right yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know so much about the dying part, it's just he, like, the body stops moving and it starts to turn into mist and just deteriorate. But from that mist comes a figure. Jesus. Not so much that. <laughs> So you see, like, this person is just radiating, like, he's got the same white eyes, and he, you can see, like, he doesn't have pupils or anything. Once you go black, yeah. you never go back. And he's starting to walk towards Pei, and now he's speaking in a draconic dialect that you can understand. D100, are you actually, like, are you sensible enough? Yeah, you're sensible <laughs> enough to Pei, because you just, like, you just saw something very strange in front of you. The, the dragon body, like, it's really, the body turned to mist, and the mist turned into this figure. And, like, uh, it's something around, you know, I've waited an eternity to pass on, just finding the right person to do so with. The fact that it happened, you know, he's, he pretty much didn't believe that it would ever happen. That he would be forever an elder dragon, and he would never know rest. He would be forced to, to stay here and be pretty much in his words a prisoner within this te this palace and now he sees a way out so and the captain's like he's trying to protest it's like you know you can't do this you know what'll happen what what will the people do if you're not around what will the people do if you know you're you're not your leadership's not here anymore Sands, are you just a passive observer? You're just not even... Is that all he's... I, you always, that, you I, always do that, but... Absor observing, because okay. I'd rather not interfere in... Yeah, like I'd rather not interfere. Where I'm not supposed to interfere. Okay. So one of those two. So and he, you know, he says, you know, times change and me was change with them, you know. I wasn't going to be around forever. And he just offers a hand to pay, and, uh... Pay without even thinking, she just takes the hand. And with that, the body, his remaining body evaporates. I mean, just, um... He turns into black mist, and then I guess the black mist goes into Pay's body. And like there, the the all the dragons present, like the black dragons, are just stunned. That just any of this just happened. They don't even know what to think anymore. So and pays so, uh, like hey. um like pre I think Amusra is the one who breaks the spell and he like runs over to pay because pay is like lying face first on the ground now. That's so how she's checking her vitals, and it's like, you know, she's alive, and we'll have to keep her in care for a while. So, is she unconscious, though? Yes. So, Musra just picks her up, and he starts moving her towards where you were staying. And so, like, the what's left is the two, the two, uh, the two lieutenants. And Shun's like, Shun's looking back and forth, and he's looking at, like, where Pei just went, he's looking back at Sands, and it's like, Okay, seriously, what just happened? Do I know what just happened? Completely. You have a, you have a hunch of what's happening. Apparently okay. I do. <laughs> so your hunch is that he just transferred his great magical energy into a, a viable vessel. So, you know, I guess because Pei is in between and she wanted to have children, along with her being unable to, it seemed like, you know, this would be a perfect fit. Not only would I solve one person's problem, I would solve my problem as well. That's what the Great Black Drake was thinking. I would, solve, I would kill two birds with one stone. Uh, the city would have its leader, and I could move on, and I wouldn't have to be here.
So Shun is like, um, like Shun is like, I, I'm gonna need to take a walk because I, I, I don't know. And he's just like he's, for once, he's not radiating confidence. He's unmanned by this. <laughs> so um, the only one who's really keeping his calm is the the court wizard, or the court mage, like the main mage. So he kind of just, um, he comes up to you, it's like, it was bound to happen eventually. He didn't want to live forever, and he's seen a lot in his time. There would come a point where he simply would become lethargic with his, you know, with living, and that he would want to pass on. I guess he was just waiting for the right person to allow him to pass on. It's like, but then comes the fate, and he's kind of leaning down. Remember, he's like, he's much taller than you, so he's leaning down... And he's getting to face level, and it's like, but then comes the question of you. What do you plan to do? You don't know? <laughs> okay, I'll give you time to think. We'll move no, on to no, seven. No, 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 no? no. I'm just try trying to, to now? think of a way how to, pr how to tell it without offending him. Okay, just say it, like, uh... It's like, nothing will offend me at this point. I've just seen some of the strangest things a mad dragon could ever see. Alright. What happens to my family's fortune? Just... It's like, um... It's like, we were hoping you could tell us. But I take it <sighs> neither of us know. Not even their, not even his children. <clears throat> Great. So he kind of like, he gives out a laugh. It's like, I think it's better if you don't know. Mm. I was planning on using some of it and then handing like, the rest but of that, it. And so it's like, um, he kind of cuts, uh, he kind of claps his hands and it's like, but that may, that means that we can finally put that legend to rest. That the great noble, how that the, the black dragon noble's fortune has been lost forever. And that not even their heirs know. So, in a way, that makes you safe. So, now it's uh, like he's, uh, do you want it to become public knowledge, or do you want him to keep it a secret? Depending on this answer on my next... Say what? Uh, that all depends on... His answer on my next question. Okay, so it's uh, so he's asking, you know, ask away. Is there a possibility for me to join the Blackwing? Okay. And so he's looking at you, and it's like, uh, not officially, no. And so, hold on, let me. Let me pull it out, wherever it went. <laughs> so I actually didn't save this asset, I have to keep this asset on file, sorry. Um, and you hear, and so like, he says no, but then he looks up, and he, he's, uh, do you look behind you? Yes. Yeah, he looks <laughs> up, and it's like, I can answer that. And it's like, he is correct though, officially you cannot. Unofficially, there is a clause that says if I approve of any candidate, they will join. That's like, so far, and it, like he sees, uh, he's walking this way, it's like, so far I have not seen anything that I would want in my ranks. And it's like, uh, do you, do you want to know why? Yeah, sure. It's like, because I have the feeling you're not doing it for our benefit. I have the feeling you're doing it for your own. It's like, so it seems everything you're doing is for you. It doesn't seem to have anything to do with us, and I do not need black-winged drakes that only think of themselves. Well, if most of the time everything I had to do for me, so... I still have that habit. Yes. Yeah. It's like it's not. It's like a habit is not good enough. You have to think about it. It has to be a part of your being. And so far, you've only proven to me that you would be an unsuitable candidate. Yeah. 
It's like, uh, you have your own, you're an adventurer. You have your own wants and you have your own needs. You, know, you don't want to settle down and just become a pawn. Be doing what you're told. It's like, even the Blackwing are not beyond, they're not beyond being given orders. So, you know, just, um, he realizes that, you know, the personality, it just wouldn't fit. It's, you're still thinking of yourself, you're not thinking of the greater whole. Nor you've never been part of this greater whole. So that's the answer to that question. <laughs> So what now? I mean, just, uh, mm. that comes back to the same thing. It's like, do you want it to be public knowledge that you don't know where the fortune is? Sure. Go ahead. Okay, so, that's, uh, excellent. I'll make the bulletins, I'll make it. So he's, like, going off to make the bulletin to the people to tell them that, you know, the, the noble fortune has been lost forever. Because the, the heir does not even, even the, even their children do not know where it is. So it'll be down to just them finding it per chance, or any leads saying so. It's like, and so like he leans in close, and it's like uh, like he see that he's like he's motioning for you to follow him, like and he start and he starts walking towards the the farthest end of the chamber. Like, cause you were all observing him, and then he's motioning, like, to the side. Like, he's waiting for him to get out of earshot, and then he does a, kind of a subtle motion for you to, to follow him. Well, it's like, officially, it's like, a, it's like, that was more for him than you. Officially, you cannot become part of the Darkwing, and I did mean everything I said. But that does not mean that I cannot use your skills. It's like, unlike my kin, I do believe in a barge system. You give me what I want, and I'll give you what you want. I do deal with outsiders. I mean, how else would we survive? You think all this, and he's like, he's motioning to all this stuff around him, it's like, you think all this just came out of a bubble? No. Probably not, no. It's like, the Darkwing have been interacting with species outside it for a long time. We're also, we're not just assassins and reconnaissance agents, we're also diplomats. We talk with other races. It's like, it's one of the things your mother excelled at. It's like, and, and he, he's got like a toothy smile. It's like, that doesn't mean that she wasn't any good at assassination or reconnaissance operations. She was as good as an agent, she's well-rounded, but her specialty was diplomacy. So... Mm. It's like, so what is it you're after? <laughs> you time to think about it? Uh, a, w a, a way to clear up the noble name. Okay. It's like, in a way, we just did. It's... Well, it's like, in a way, we did, and in a way, we didn't. We cleared your name, because we pretty much confirmed that there is nothing, that you know nothing of the, your family's fortune. So you won't be hunted for every second of your life as much as you used to be. It's like clearing up the name, though, that is a different story. It's like, you see, your normal house wasn't exactly the most popular. I mean, you started going into the darker direction. Which is, you know, yours was the first to try and branch into other species. It's like, and let's be honest. It was the, it was really you that was the greatest threat, and you in a way you still are. It's not because it's not really you, but what you are 
that is the greatest threat. And that is you are a dragon that is able to resist the, the black dragon's dominant genes. You have come out as a hybrid, which means that eventually it might become a reversal. Who so, says it so. wasn't just one lucky Yeah, and it's like but thing. that's and it's like that's the point. Is it may ha it was just the flu. It was just the one lucky birth. But then what happens next? What happens if you have children with uh with dragons? Then the genetics oh. get stronger and maybe the dominance will no longer be there. Right now I'm not planning on having any, having any children with dragons. It's like dragons. that doesn't mean people won't hunt you. Just the possibility of you settling down and having children is enough for them to try and kill you. Well, for one, I'm not settling down yet. Like I said, and it's like, <laughs> and he kind of gets closer. It's like, are you listening to half of what I am saying? Yes, but I'm probably interpreting them wrong. It's like, yes, it seems so. It's like, like it or not, you're going to be hunted. Because just the possibility... It's like, it's not even that you're even saying that. Like, even if you say publicly that you're not going to have a family, that still doesn't mean that you can't change your mind. So just the possibility of you having a family and proving, and you know, just the genetic stereotype of you know, the black dragons are no longer dominant. Just the threat the just the threat of that is there's plenty of parties that are willing to destroy the rest of your family name. And that's really just um let's see. And he still believes it's political motivation. It's like there are those who believe in a pure dragon species. But <clears throat> but he kinda smiles and he says, But times are changing, I mean he just got, like, you know, the even the, the greatest dragon we have decided to have a child with a red dragon hybrid. So maybe times are changing and maybe those biases will slowly get destroyed. And then yeah, part of him darkens, it's like, or maybe they'll just try to assassinate her as well. Who cares if it's the great, bla the great black dragon's child? They may just kill her out of spite. So oh, it's like, and that's where we come back, that's where it comes full circle. I need you to take her out of the city. She's not going to be safe here. She's not going to be safe with the center of everything that hates her. And everything she stands for. And it's like, they're obviously not going to allow that. But that's where Probably it's like not. it's like. But think of it as your induction. Then think of it as your your trial of darkness. <laughs> that's what he. That's what he's calling it. It's like uh, this is your test to see can you do what we're about. It's like and if you succeed, maybe I might have more jobs for you. Just it won't be official. I can't officially <laughs> induct you into the order, but I can use your skills. Well, anyway, for me to learn assassination technique, it's like I when you prove really your worth. For now, but you have yet to prove yourself. To us, anyway. Like, he corrects himself every so often because he's kind of trying to nuance his speech so it fits. <laughs> It's like, sure, we've had reports of you doing many great things, but I have yet to see it. Myself. So until I see the reports myself, and that you're, you're doing my will, and I see what you're capable of, then I'll believe it. Just one question. What would happen if I were to find the fortune they left behind? It's like, that's for you to discover. According to public record, it no longer exists. If you find it, do your best not to make it public. Because then they will come back for you, and they will try to hunt you. Just keep it safe somewhere. I mean... So, how much intelligence do they have? All of the intelligence, so... 
It's like, we've heard that there's a fortress somewhere in the Bladed Spires run by a friend of yours, a Grimmall. And it's like, it seems like in order for him to maintain his wealth, he needs to develop an entire army to protect him. This goes to show you. Yeah. Any great <laughs> fortune, there'll be armies trying to kill you. It's like, uh, and he, he leans in and it's like, uh, my advice, though, is simply forget about the fortune. If you find it, okay, but forget about it. Or spend it, spend it on something else other than yourself. Because if you spend it on yourself, it likely will not bode well. But so, does he know more history about the fortune? And it's like, and also, keep this in mind, youth. <laughs> like, he, he's using the youth like derogatory. That fortune was built off the, the sweat and toil of the innocent. A lot of people suffered for that fortune to be developed. It wasn't just your family, it was every noble family. They all had their... problems. It's like, uh, I knew... I knew... Jala's father. I may not look it, but I've been around for that long. And he was a cruel man. And he only cared about the wealth and power. He didn't care about the people. And so he was assassinated. And it's like you can say, I, I should probably be thanking Kruv because he took out what we did the job that the Darkwing couldn't. He, we couldn't dare to stand against the nobles, yet he was the one who simply took the sword up and took them all out. Wipe the slate clean so we could start again. In a way, like his um, and under normal circumstances, he would have been commended by the by every wing or by every every branch, but the people saw him as a traitor. So they were forced to call him. They were forced. Uh, you know, they recognize him as a hero, but the people still call him a traitor. So. And so, like, he's starting to walk away. It's like, times are changing, though. Maybe now we can see him as a hero. You know, with all the approval, with all the history being changed, with now the Great Black Drake is gone, with a new heir to the throne now being born and now needing to be raised, maybe times are changing for the better. Maybe not. And Let's so, like, just hope a fool doesn't run the city until kay. of age. Okay, so like he's not even gonna try to help you get out of the city or anything. He's just he's expecting you to do all that on your own. Like he gave you a task, get it done. So you have to try and get pay out of the city. I'm gonna walk over to the hatch room. Okay. Well, before we do that, we're gonna go to zero because it's zero's time to shine. Zero, are you paying attention? No. Yes. Maybe so. Maybe not. Oh man. It's your time to shine. <laughs> are you awake? Okay. So I just back got at your drink. tank. Estrio's <laughs> apparently like he's quote unquote your prisoner. He has not said a thing since he was on the tank. But you could tell he might know what's going on. Uh, Alright. Well let's get this delivery mission over with. I have okay, a plan. So you're not gonna you're not gonna have um remember, they're not gonna do it themselves. They say, you know, if you want to time to a barrel or have them dragged along or have to walk all that way, you're going to have to do it yourself. So you're not going to do any of that? No. I okay. got a plan for all of this. It's just because they're not doing it? Yep. Yeah. Okay, it's so roll fun. encounter. <laughs> so, they may have your number, I mean, like... So that's enemy, and that's near the... on the border. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think you might encounter something you remember. This is though, you know, somebody's gonna have to deal with this thing eventually because honestly, it keeps popping up all the time. So I think every, I think most of you know what's coming. Uh oh. Okay, so who doesn't know what's coming? I don't know. <laughs> There's so many things. <laughs> uh, Annabelle, what usually happens in the desert regions? The crazy bitch. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. Pretty it's much. either the, the woman or yeah, the sand uh, wraith. Yeah, the sand wraith, the one we keep running into. <laughs> well, at least she doesn't actually harm us. She just makes it unfortunate to everything. Just keep just rolling. Keep rolling. <laughs> That's like, and she's like, she's just kind of casually just lying there, just like. The same way Strom does her lying there. Like, just kind of on her back, just kind of chilling. Cross arms behind her, behind her head. It's like, oh, fancy meeting you here. Mm-hmm. So are you just gonna, are you just gonna try to go on by? Yep. <laughs> so... Let's see, do a D100. Okay, that's bad. Of course it so is. So you can feel that, like the tank, the the tank's engine shifts notes. Like you you wanted to just drive on by, but you see that the tank's note is shifting, and you feel like it's. And uh, Frifa is looking, like she's she's trying to she's wrestling with the controls, and she's looking at you. It's like I don't think we have traction anymore. Uh, okay. And so you look at she looks out the window, and you can see that the tank is slightly ri risen off the ground. Oh, oh God! It's like um, and Strom. You see Strom like climbing down the side. Are you looking out the door? Or are you still looking at the main viewport? Just at the main viewport. Okay. Can you see? You can't see her from your angle, but Strom is gonna go, and she's uh. She like taps the bottom of the hull. It's like, uh, yeah, there's a pillar down here, and it's. I'm gonna try to get rid of it, but it doesn't look too uh, movable. <laughs> so like she starts swiping it, but as she's swiping the sand, it just comes back. It's like yeah, we're not moving, and she just goes back to the top and goes into relaxed position. <sighs> For fuck's sake! Okay, what the hell does she want? Yeah. It's like oh, I just wanted to talk. <sighs> you don't get many can visitors we... out here in the desert in the middle of nowhere. Can we do this as we move? <laughs> so no. Ah, uh, fuck's sake. It's like, um, you know, rumors travel fast. I did hear about the exploits of that man you're now have imprisoned within your, uh, what would you call it? <laughs> it's like she's trying to think of a word. She's floating like in front of your, in front of the glass window that you look out of. The vehicle. <laughs> and, it, that's what it is. Uh, your observation box, whatever you call it, command something. <laughs> Uh, Freeva just pipes in, it's like, you mean the command deck? It's like, yes, that's the word, command deck. So what exactly does she want? It's like, oh, I'm just curious about where he's going. Nowhere special. It's like, oh, you are a very you bad are liar. That's seriously nowhere special. Uh, so. <laughs> it's like, and she kind of chuckles, it's like, huh, you're taking him back to Lena, aren't you? Sure. That was originally the mission. And I was like, huh, and he really thought, it's like, he really thought that that relationship would just end if he just ran away. Ah, foolish boy. Oh, well, that's his choice. And so, like, you feel that the tank starts to drop down, and you, you have traction again. Well, it won't keep you long, then. I'd love to see this drama play out. Let me know how it goes. Will do. Yeah, so... Let's roll and on she by. just kind of waves and then turns into sand. <laughs> so, it's like you're not gonna question any of that. Nope. <laughs> so, Esh, like, um, who is it? Cause you're Freefa's near enough. Like she has, she can, she has minor mental impulses. Like she can actually communicate to you mentally slightly. She's not very good at it, but she can. It's like, you know, I think Estrio may have had a, a relationship with your daughter. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's why we're not going to directly go to the castle. Okay, so where are you going? Just a little ways before it. Okay, so do, do an encounter. Okay, so encounter, friendly. Do a D100. Okay, so it's not any of the town, so it's going to be an outsider friendly. Annabelle's so. just gotten really just 
turned around. Do 100, are you actually going to be out here in the middle of the mountainous regions? Yes. <laughs> How turned around did you get? Really, really turned around. It's like, oh you're God. just, you just had to go south. <laughs> and then you ended up, like, far to the west. I, I'm just, like, yelling at Chi, just like, I told you, we should have taken a left at the giant rock. It's like, um, it's like, we shouldn't have taken a left at all. All we had to travel was south. You're the one who insisted on going west. Well, sorry if I thought I... It's like, see, that. this is why you listen to me navigating. Do we even notice the tank? Do it under. Do you actually... Are you <laughs> are you too enraptured? No, yeah, you notice the tank. It's kind of hard because it's rumbling along. Do you notice that Estrio's in the command deck? Because it's a giant glass thing in front. So you do notice Estrio's like... He hasn't moved from the spot that he's been planted. Like, he's just looking at the viewport, and he's looking out the window, and he sees you, and his face does not change. Like, you see that he's got, like, a resigned face on his. Like, he knows what's coming, but he can't do anything about it. And to do something would likely mean his death, because he knows what company he's in. <laughs> just walk up to the tank and start yeah. climbing up. Tank's still rolling, so... Can I get on? Do 100... Can you get on a moving get vehicle? On, uh, uh, not so much. It's moving too fast for you to try and get on normally. Okay, then I'm whacking on the side and saying, Hey! Yeah. Oh. Nothing. Okay. Just keep rolling. No response. Because oh, I know they're going to start me. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Okay. That's uh, wall. Just in front of them. Okay, so you put up a wall. Let's see, can the tank... The tank cannot get through that. So she puts sure. up a giant sand... She puts up a giant sand wall in front of you, and it's like, uh... But that she's uh, basically free for trying to go around it. It's like, <laughs> oh. And then she just turns it to the right, and she just starts going, just upward. Starts going upward. Another sand wall. D100. Uh, no. Uh, it takes no, a lot of effort. You remember, you've been walking for a while... You have not partaken of food or drink. And so your That's energy right. reserves can only go so far. Stop resisting me! <laughs> I run up and try and jump on the thing again now that it's slowed down. Okay, try it. So as it's turning. So you're able to get on it as it's turning. Actually, do I know it's her? Uh, no. no. You just think it's some <laughs> random person outside. It's like, who are you? Uh, she's uh, just she... standing on the side. She's not really gonna. Is she gonna? She's not gonna repeat your antics. It's like, all right, this is for you to figure out. I'm getting us a ride. Okay. It's not like it's not even going in the right direction. <laughs> I don't care. It's like maybe you should. Maybe we would already be home by that point if you did care. I'm tired. I don't want to walk anymore. It's like, ah, uh, fine. And then she just she just jumps on it too. So, are you guys going to try to enter the tank, or are you just going to hitch a ride on it? Um, no, we're just fine on the outside as long okay, as we're Okay, so in, they're just so hitchhiking. They're not even going to... So, uh, what's Strom? Strom just leans over the side. Does she recognize? Yeah, of course she does. She knows who all of <laughs> you are. It's like, oh, fancy meeting you here. Like, she's leaning like she's over. Le like, she has her, she her has arms her. are blades, and she was ready to stab down. But, um... She like leans over the side and she does she does it head first and it's like oh fancy meeting you here. So I I look up and then just like ponder for a second. Oh one hit wonder. It's like yeah whatever and then she just goes back <laughs> to position. She knocks on the top. It's like hey one of your friends is outside. She's just gonna stay there. I'm just gonna chill on my fucking tank. <clears throat> yep. Goddamn. She's not even gonna because they've been walking for a while so. They're just gonna move on. Okay, Do not so get in my way. Where are you going? Where are you gonna go? <laughs> well, I was gonna beat the shit out of Estrio, but now I can't. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can. You still can. They just might not let you. I know. 
<laughs> no, no, it's just your your internal crew might not let you. Actually, let's roll on that. Okay, they don't care. If you do it yourself, they do not care. They're not going to stop you. But it's yeah. when you ask them to do it that they care. It's like, well, you know, we're not going to be your we're not going to be your scapegoats. That's really what they're thinking is you're not doing it because it's fun. You're doing it because you can order somebody else to do it because they'll end up the scapegoat. It's like you can say, I didn't do it, that person did it. And that's what they're <laughs> paranoid about is, you know, they don't want to be your scapegoats. They aren't, though. They're a good team. <laughs> yeah, and so they're, they're not going to do that anymore. I mean, it, it was Damn. good to a point where they got something out of it, but now it's just becoming, they're not getting anything out of this. Like, at beating the it. shit out of Estrio, they're not. They're actually going against the mission. They're not getting anything out of that. Yeah, but... But they used to do it. What the fuck? They've never done it. <laughs> they've never just beat something to death just well, because. They've done whatever he's ordered. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. But that's when they... It was uh, to their benefit and to the mission. It was not when... Um, it's not when it's just randomly... And actually, it's really because this will compromise the mission. That's the main thing they're concerned about. Otherwise, if it didn't compromise the mission at all, they'd be okay with it. But huh. because this would void the mission, plus they know who Lane. They saw Lena. They were there. So it's like, do we really want to make that enemy? And they, they agree that no. They don't want to make that enemy. And they're not going to allow you to make that enemy. Insubordinate little shits. They're only insubordinate <laughs> when they see that, you know, we're going to take on something they can't possibly survive against. And it's not you that's going to suffer, it's them. Because they're probably going to be the first to die, because that's what you always do. <laughs> you, you throw them on the front lines. And well, so okay. they're going to die first, and then she'll get to you. It's okay, I'll deal with everybody at once. Yeah. You don't have healing powers. No, not healing, but killing. That's Still, it comes down to the same thing. It's like, they know that if they, if it comes down to a fight, they're going to be the first to die. And so they're trying to preserve themselves. <sighs> Which reminds me, can I bring the entire army along? Uh, what, uh, this place? D100? Yes. No. Oh, she is very strict about monitoring who is who. <laughs> and remember, she is a master shapeshifter. You're barely, a, you're barely a, an adept. So she, in terms of shapeshifting, she's a lot greater at it than you are. So she can smell a shapeshifter. Shit. Well, I guess I have to do it another way. Okay. Anyway, Siege so battle. are you gonna, what are you gonna do now? <laughs> Fuck it. Well, since I have so much resistance, you know what, screw it, I'll just drive over there. Okay, so... <laughs> roll encounter. Is there going to be anybody else that you're going to encounter? So, no. So you're going to get to the city walls. What a roll a D100. Is there anyone there to greet you? The answer is no. Are the gates even open? So, yes. So the gates are open. They They kind of get the feeling you were coming in, but, you know, just... No one here to greet so, me. Douche. Not on the outside. On the inside, it looks like a parade ground. Like you're walking, you're driving your tank through a parade ground, and there's like music playing and streamers coming down, and just. But you can see that the people are not really cheering. They're just watching. Oh. So there's okay. music playing. Nobody is cheering. <laughs> so. That's weird. You kind of get the feeling that they were forced to be there. They weren't exactly. Oh, they're not. They're not there willingly. They're forced to be there. Hmm. So you see, all eyes. It's completely silent except for the music and the streamers. There's no clapping. There's no sound. It's just. It's creepy. So you get oh, to like shit. the center. You get to the square, <laughs> and you can see the palace, and you see that. Um. Well, let's actually go look at that. So you see that yes, there are more crucified bodies on the walls, like uh, like <laughs> it, where there was uh, the body, the old ones were taken down, and there are new crucified people there. You oh, see no. that her entire palace guard is at the front, meaning there's like a, there's 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 four squads of these guys. Hmm. And That's they're all standing many. in a line, and she's like at the top of the stairs of the crucified bodies, and she's wearing something a lot more elaborate than normal. Uh oh. Let's see, what are we looking at? We're looking at like she's wearing a black she's wearing a black dress, but you can tell that it's made very finely. Like she she paid a hefty sum to get a black dress like this. It looks very Victorian, very nice for her frame. 
<sighs> well, let's get this over with then. Okay, so... Let's deliver the monkey. If so, you'll um, get out. So are you, you guys are going to get out? Like, Annabelle and she, are you just like, hot, are you, what's your opinion at this? Baffled confusion? You're baffled and confused, and it's what she... She is like, alright, let's not get involved. Let them handle the business. I know we want to do something, but this does not look like a situation we want to be a part of. Then she's like, she's looking at, she's looking at, La at Lena, and she's looking back at you guys, like almost like your specimens on a slide. And it's like, I do not want to mess with that thing, whatever that is. <laughs> Annabelle literally just can't hear her. Okay. All right, so. And she like she taps you on the side of the head. It's like, are you paying attention? Hmm. What? It's like, ah, oh, fine. <laughs> so, so, she goes back to. She's just like holding you in position, so that you don't. If you do have a moment of lucidity and you try to move, you can't really move. Well, seven is just gonna warn you to stay there. Yeah. Or it's gonna turn very bad. <laughs> yeah, he just says, "Stay there, or this will get ugly." Now you really made me want to come. Okay, so are you bringing Estrio out, or are you going to leave him in the tank? Yeah, he's going to actually pull him out. Okay, so he's you pull Estrio out. He's not trying to struggle. I mean, he's letting himself get pulled out. I mean, he, he doesn't have a choice. And he doesn't want to risk bodily harm just to resist a little more. <laughs> so you have him in your hands, right? Yep. Like, Estrio's right well. in front of you. Roll D100. Okay, so you don't have, so... What happens is, like, she sees Astrio, and immediately one of her arms morphs into, like, a tentacle, and you see it, like, rocket forward down the stairs, and it wraps around Astrio, and you, do you, you don't have enough of a grip. You didn't expect any of that to happen. Because roll a D... Roll a D10. How fast is she? It takes, like, three seconds for her to do all that. Yeah. <laughs> So, since she has him, like, in front of her. Yeah, and you can tell, like, okay. she's got this, she's got a very evil, very not-so-friendly smile. But I guess it's supposed to be comforting? Like, but she doesn't really understand what comfort means. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's supposed to be a comforting smile, but she doesn't quite understand what that means. And she just pulls him into an embrace, and it's just, it's, it's, uh, like, his hands are to his sides, and he's trying not to touch anything, and he's just, he's, he's baffled. <laughs> he's baffled, she's just, uh, it's like, none of this is making, Annabelle, were you, it's, uh, were you able to break Cheese hold? No, no? Shit. So how are you he's moving? He's not gonna do anything. Lucky you. So, wait, did you convince <laughs> Chi, did you convince <laughs> Chi to, um, to follow you, or just stay there? I'm just looking at them. Okay. So you're just looking. What's she... Did you bring her with you, or is she staying with the tank? Um... Okay, so... She's staying. Yeah, she's staying with the tank. It's like, alright, well, if you decide to do something stupid, at least I won't be around to suffer for it. It's your decision. You're a big girl. You'll make your own decisions. I'm just staring at the guard. Okay, so you're just, um... <laughs> what's Lena's opinion? Like, they haven't said anything. She's pretty much hugging him, and he's not hugging back, and it's just, it's awkward. It's all hell. <laughs> so what's your opinion so, of that? All I want is the contract signed. I want to get paid, and that's about it. Okay. His problem. So, like, she kind of, she looks over, over Estrio, and she just snaps a finger. And then you see one of the guards walk up with, uh... Walk up with, uh, it looks like a scroll... Hmm. So are you going to read the scroll, or are you going to take it from yes, him? Yes, indeed. I will take it and read okay. that shit. So you see that... Um, actually, let me read up on some of the lore of these guys. There was a specific thing I needed to remember. Okay, so one of the things you need to know about the Bone Guards is that they take the bones of their enemies and they incorporate it into their armor. They have to start in a specific order and the more veteran of them has bone on their helmets and their shoulders. And you could tell this guy is a veteran because his entire armor is made of bone. But it looks like this is some high-grade bone, like he's been hunting big things like dragons. 
dragons, giant creatures, those types of things. So this is like an elite captain who's giving you this scroll. Somebody yeah. who's seen some shit. Fancy and man. has walked out of it. Well, it's he's like, uh, so he's handing you the scroll and it's like, these are my lady's wishes. You may take them as you will. Huh. Alright. Let's read this thing. Okay, D100. Let's see what's on it. Okay, oh. so it's kind of, it's a little bit less than you expected. It's good, but it's not as good as you thought. Like, you know, <sighs> you have completed the contract. What was the payment you asked for? Oh, I at least wanted my bar filled, but... <laughs> okay. So, she gave you enough to get the bar filled, but nothing else. Really, just that was all. So, like, you got very specific with it, and she's giving you specifically what you wanted, which is, you got a full favor bar. But that's it. Oh. All right, then. <laughs> so, the, no trade so agreement. the rest is like... it's There's nothing else on it. That's it. Just This is the okay. money. Get out. <laughs> Not even the get out part. Just It's just, here's the money. Oh, good. I got paid. So add the favor to your bar. And that was it. That was just, uh... So you're not going to stick around to figure out what's happening? Actually, I am curious as to what the hell she wanted his ass for. Okay. So, D100, can you listen in to, uh... Actually, let's find out what she wants. And, um... She's like... It's weird because, like, he is a little bit taller and looks a little heavier, but she's handling him like he's a ragdoll. Just the amount of strength she can exert is ridiculous. And she's just, like, moving him around like he's a ragdoll. Like, she just has one arm around his back, and he's, like, pushing him aside so that she has a viewpoint of all the party. And she's, like, beckoning you guys to come up the stairs and into the palace. And she doesn't yeah. even wait for a response. She just uh, she just walks in and is just carrying him like, <laughs> like he's some sort of child. Oh, this ought to be good. So, Annabelle, <laughs> D100, are they going to allow you in? So, the Bone Guard are kind of looking at you like they're all orienting towards Annabelle. And the door shuts. Like, that's, um... One of the guards kind of leans in, it's like, officials only, sorry. <laughs> but, I, I am official... It's like, and so he looks at his, um, he looks at his captain, and the captain just shrugs, and he just nods, and then I guess the doors open again. <laughs> and she, like, she's seeing this, and she just jumps off, and she sprints, like, all the way up to the door, and up the stairs. Because it's like, if you're gonna be out of sight, out of mind, she wants to make sure she's, ne she's nearby in case something happens to you. So, Freefa, so you're, you're not bringing, Freefa's gonna stay with the tank, she's not gonna let yeah. that go anywhere. Oh dear, you disappeared. There you are. <laughs> oh, it's like... And you see that, like, there's a weird table. Huh. Says, do you notice anything about the table? Nope. Okay, so you don't notice anything. Does she explain it? No. Does Estrio notice? No. Annabelle, do you... Does actually, does anybody know? So... Strom, I think, is the only one that knows. And she... Like, they immediately recognize what the table's made out of. Children. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no. You can tell that the it's made out of the bones of some animal, but you're not quite sure what it is. Strom is trying to recognize it, but she knows, like, she can tell it's bone, just by the, the quality of it. And so can she. So, are you mm. surprised that she's at, that Annabelle's at the table? Well, as long as she doesn't do anything stupid, he doesn't care. 